Good afternoon, class of 2021. Before I commence my speech, I would like to express my gratitude. I thank my family and friends, all of my wonderful advisors, Divas and MGD, Enon Tabernacle Baptist Church, and Mastery Faculty for giving me opportunities I'm sure I would not have received at another academic institution. Opportunities such as Mastery at CCP, where select students had the opportunity to attend CCP for their senior year. We also had the opportunity to earn internships and build connections and experience in various fields. At some point, we all benefit from the school, whether you realize it or not. From the people who are able to earn scholarships through the school's connection, and to the people who are able to earn a job through the school. I would like to express my peers' gratitude and say thank you to Mastery for always looking out for us. This moment is extremely sentimental for me. Not only am I the first to be college bound, but I'm also valedictorian. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thank everyone who helped me make this moment happen, um, and my mother especially. I thank her for her courage, her determination, Thank you for her courage, her determination, her wisdom, her love, and everything else that she poured into me. I thank her for creating the young woman that stands before you all today. I know it's hot, and I do not wish anyone to be bored, so shall we begin? <laughs> I was welcomed into this school in 10th grade with open arms. It was a difficult transition, but it was made easier with the help of my friends, and acquaintances. To them, I say thank you. 10th grade was a blur and drama film. I remember the little demerit cards that we used to use, getting yelled at for not wearing our lanyards and having our shirts untucked. And Mr. Fullman, who was constantly kicking someone out of his classroom. <laughs> Before I move on from, um, from 10th grade, I would like to highlight the teachers like Ms. Barron's. For those of you who do not know Ms. Barron's, she was our 10th grade English teacher. Here's a shout out to the teachers from Caucasian descent who always try to make their black and indigenous students of color comfortable in their learning environment. Thank you to the teachers who addressed what was happening to our people outside of the classroom and for giving us an open space to communicate and process our feelings. Thank you, Ms. Barron's, and others for letting us know that our voices are important, and that's enough for 10th grade. 11th grade was extremely stressful, mostly because of Ms. Khan. It just seemed like nothing was ever good enough for her. All of the students, <laughs> all of the students in Khan's AP class knew how discouraging it was to get our first essay scores. Most of us even cried and discussed dropping the class. Nonetheless, I went receiving up from, sorry, <laughs> I went from receiving a 40% on my essay to being the only one who scored a five on her AP test. <laughs> and still the only one who was able to achieve that at Pickett. <clears throat> Mr. Perloff's class was the highlight of my school day. Um, seeing all the faces that he made just made me literally cackle. <laughs> um, I appreciate you, Mr. Perloff. You took the time to understand your students and you highlighted our accomplishments. You even took the time to create the Wall of Fame where you hung the pictures of students who passed your test. Ms. Matthews' class was just straight comedy. <laughs> well, at least my class period was. Um, where is she? Gracias, Profe Cabanez, for bringing and teaching some of our shared heritage to the school. Your teaching techniques and your advice 
was not unnoticed. Lastly, Ms. White. I know most people knew that this part was coming. Um, everyone knew that you were my favorite teacher. <laughs> but I would like to thank you. Oh, don't cry. Don't cry. I would like to thank you, and my mom would like to thank you for always looking out for me and giving me opportunities, such as being able to participate at a four-week program at the Pennsylvania University. I mean, <laughs> at the University of Pennsylvania. My teachers were hard on us, and the homework load seemed unforgiving, but I recently recognized our teachers were only pushing us to be our best. And as I typed this speech, I also realized, and I hope you guys realized too, that we sort of took the 11th grade for granted. Because when the coronavirus disrupted all of our lives, I found myself continuously reminiscing about the school. I mean, at first we were all joking about how our school was going to be closed down and how we needed a break. But I know that we all missed the environment. I remember thinking that whenever a staff member would talk about the community at Pickett, that they were just being corny. But you really don't miss what you have until it's gone. It is unfortunate that I never got the chance to know the 12th grade teachers because my senior year was spent at CCP. But because I am standing before you presenting the class of 2021, I would love to express their gratitude. Much obliged, I'm sorry if I butcher anyone's names. Much obliged to Mr. Yeltsin, Ms. Martis, Ms. Matt, Mr. Bacon, Ms. Jenkins, um, Ms. Juan Seward, Ms. Lauer, I'm sorry, and Ms. Calvin for helping my peers complete their secondary education. We had a lot of special moments taken from us, but by the grace of God and the wonderful staff, we were able to have this beautiful ceremony. Is it a coincidence that COVID restrictions started to lift up around the time of prom and graduation? No, I don't think so. Even COVID needs to chill because we deserve to be celebrated. <laughs> we deserve to enjoy the benefits of our labor. Our grade is extremely strong. From the young mothers, to the students that had to move, to those who had to maintain a job in school, to the business owners, to those athletes, to those who spent CCP with, with me, and to those who stayed after school for office hours because they knew their education was important. And to all of us who had to overcome the hurdles of learning virtually. We are still standing here, <laughs> strong and proud, we overcame a plethora of obstacles we were all graduating. And I hope that we don't stop here. After all that we accomplished, I hope that we continue to pursue our own individual goals. Do not let your journey stop here. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We did it, and thank you. At this time, the senior grade team would like to recognize members.